I'm Martijn van Akkoi. I'm the creator of Picto Selector and want to show you how to download and install Picto Selector on your system. First of all, you have to visit the Picto Selector website. On it, you will see that there are download or pages with information about Picto Selector. For instance, the download page. And when you visit this download page, you will be directed to this place. And here you can download Picto Selector for Windows or for Mac OS. I will now download it for Windows. It's a quite a big download, so it will take some time. And while downloading, we will wait. Um, of course, there's a lot of more information about Victor Select on the website. For instance, here you can see how you can create your first Victor sheet, select Victors, etc. But now we will first go to the installer, start it. And it's okay when you see my name on it, then you know it's a legit download. Well, it's a welcome. I'm on a Dutch computer, so the language here is Dutch. This is the location, it will be installed. And well, this one is handy. Uh, I have already installed Picto Selector earlier, so this installing on just on top of an earlier installation, and it's no problem. The database with all the Picto sheets is uh, safe, and it will be used when I start this one. Um, there is a bit difference when you first start Picto Selector on a uh, computer, then it will ask where to use the database. Uh, you can just conform the default settings and then uh, you're okay to uh, start it. Well, it's installing about uh, 82,000 uh, pictos here, so it takes a while. And there are from different sites, uh, for instance, uh, Sclera with black and white pictos and Isaac with colored uh, pictos. But there are some more uh, places I've been uh, where I've asked just to you know, I've asked for permission to in to put it in Picto Selector. Well here we have a shortcut and there you can just enter any initial I was on top of an earlier installation, so the first start is a bit different, but just press next and uh, use the default uh, values. Um, you can, if you know uh, what you want to do, what you want to change, then you can select, for instance, a network server, but for most people there will be no network uh, server. But it is possible to install it on a network and run it uh, using picture sheets from your colleagues, for instance. Uh, here you can enter uh, actually any initial you want. So, uh, in Dutch, the administrator is called Beheerder. Uh, but I can also say, well, I am a uh, first user, for instance. Well, that's not my name, of course, but I can just simply use that. So say, well, do you want to use it? Yes, I want. And uh, I can make a little, ch I can uh, change some things, for instance, in my full name. And then I'm getting here in the first page um, as the first user, and then I create a new picture blood. Then I'm getting this visit, it will. Uh, ask me some questions 
but on what uh, you want to use for a name, for instance, to a page. In this case, I want the title on the page, and I want it on, well, then I have more pictos than uh, that are that can be printed in one page, then it will create a second or a third or a fourth page, etc. Um, now, I can change the uh, type, it will make a bit larger here. Um, well, how many rows do I want? For instance, 4 by 4. And I want it in the end, on a letter, well, on a 4 portrait mode and but it's also possible to uh, set the size of the pixels yourself but for now I will just tell pixel selector to calculate it um, well pictures can have a name where do we want to show it below not or above or well within and within the border or simply on top um, no. do I want a border? Yeah, I want a border and a bit bigger and initially green and a small rounding here, well, a very empty page to see, so I'm going to put some pictures in it. Um, and when I'm here, I can simply double click and it will add it to the page. Uh, when I want to use the black and white pictures, almost clearer, then I can simply select that symbol library and well look for what I want um, so here I I'm adding some cars and I could of course tell my story that I want and well there is here a pre preview And when I'm ready, when I'm, I've told well, the message I want to tell my kid, then I will kind of simply print it. And, uh, you can use it in your home, for instance. So far, a very quick first introduction of Picture Select. If you want more information, and of course you can visit the website. Um, there are a lot of topics here, for instance about installing on a network. Uh, that is handy when you are a school or an institute organization. You can simply install a picture selector on any system you want. There is no limitation on the amount of installation or something like that. It is completely free to use. Um, but it is of course nice when you want to do donate some money. It's a uh, very welcome stimulus for me to continue working on Victor Selector. I hope you uh, enjoy Victor Selector. Bye bye.